I am pressed to be good for your sake, for time. I will not commit a thing. I will tell you how new loves float about like white lace, how the edges burn first. I could have sought angels, but stories are true. Your halo is rusting, warm water and low water pressure. I'm not sorry whether or not the state acknowledges it. This story, a living thing, you say, a home, rust of human hearts. I had plenty of my own to learn to love the home of the body and any of its limbs, even during sleep, how the edges burn first. I will not admit a thing. The harm that might come, all my empty dreams, the sun, animals too, lifeless, so even for one moment that good does not fail, my tongue a sacrifice or gesture and my heart a necessary tool, I ran and I do not blush. I should be washed clean like white lace. Like my own hands and knees to old beauty, bleach, a toothbrush, the stars to release me from the trap, like my own body blocks the light of the sun. I will not omit a thing. I could have sought angels. But I found you. I know why things burn. I have to quit my career as a fire beater when I can no longer tell when to spit and when to swallow. Last night in Amsterdam, a thousand tools burned to death, but I have an alibi. I was walking through the garden when I saw your hand grenades in bloom. You caught me playing, love me, love me not, metal pins between my teeth. I forget the difference between arson and seduction, ignition and cognition. I hold incendiary vices and you have a filthy, never mind. Even if you said no twice, it would be a four letter word. You're so dirty, people have planted flowers on you. Here you talks, sunflowers. You'll take anything. I want to bend you over and whisper, Soil. <laughs> or fresh cut. When you made the urgent fist of peonies a proposition, I stole a pair of gardener's hands to touch you with. Green, confident, all thumb. I looked sharp and dark shoes in gray spring all night. One thousand tools burned to death in Amsterdam, and we didn't even hear the sirens. All night, you held my alibi so gently. Like every taboo, we'd already broken. <laughs> um, so this is also going to come around just full circle in a funny way. Rebecca Edwards was talking about tattoos a minute ago. Um, I used to tour a lot, and I got the black swallow tattooed on my hips. And that traditionally is what you get when you sail over the equator. It's an old sailor tattoo. And when, or when you had like 10,000 miles. And I figured I had about 10,000 miles on me at that point. So I was wondering aloud, you know, very pretentiously to my ex-wife, at the, my wife at the time, now my ex-wife, you know, I wonder what it means the semiotics of putting, you know, a nautical tattoo onto queer female hips. <laughs> and she said, it means bring it on home to me, baby. <laughs> yeah. So that's everything you need to know about this poem. <laughs> Does it hurt? Of course it hurts. Knowing I'm going away past the sharp edge of the world, she knows we need magic. We need magic stronger than the words, since just words can't save us. I follow her to the place where the machines hum and draw blood, since we need strong magic, we need to rip the skin, let blood, and change the body for life, so it knows. This is where the journey begins. We follow royalty here, we follow gangs here, we follow brides to be here, we follow prisoners here, we follow fiends and sailors here. We walk through the open door and we look for what we need. This is where the journey begins. I leave now, or I won't be gone for months, or I will never leave. Does it hurt? Of course it hurts. Home is where the heart is, or home is where the body is. I travel light, I never let go of her hand. Home, she is my heart. We walk through the open door and look for what we need. Beyond the edge of the world, there are dragons, there are pictures around the wall, like wanted posters, wanted what we need. I'm already more woman than girl, so there's no need to slit open my chin, mark the equator. No need for love charms, no pierced hearts, no roses, no stars. Once for each year behind bars, no barbed wire for an imprisoned life. Not the pig in the rooster to keep me from drowning, nor the legend hold fast. There will be no ropes where I go. Serious magic. When you bribe the machine, you can never go back, even after death. This is where the body was found, before the edge, before the dragons. This is how they know the body. White female, five foot eleven. 160 pounds. 
identifying mark? Yes. Even after days in the water, death knows you by your magic. The water swelling the body, the body more water than blood or bone, and still the body speaks after death, says blood, north, south, sailor, thief, king, queen, ace, the spade brings love, as does the dice. But we need more than luck. We need more than love. Protection is more than luck. There are dragons past that edge. I never let go of her hand. Birds know magic like in a home. Their hearts beat too fast for land and carry them into the air. Beat, beat a signal on a drum or trumpet, a knocking or strong pulsation. Beat my heart, her beat a tattoo into my ribs. My heart is in my mouth, I swallow. Birds know magic like they know home, where the swallows return every year without fail and begin rebuilding. The machine builds its pride, rips into the skin. You can never go back. We tell the man swallows. We need swallows. He nods. He knows. He crosses me over the equator, the line between. Over the edge, there are dragons out there. He nods and says, where? See now, place is everything. Either you're home or you're not. Either you're on one side of the equator or the other. On her hands, protect her hands so that nothing falls through them. He nods. On her heart, protect her heart so nothing can hurt there. He nods again. Slowly the machine purrs harder, waiting on her throat so nothing can stop her voice when she needs it. On her legs so nothing can keep her from running. It's on her head so, so she sings the song of the machine. And the machine sings my blood and swallows my hands, my heart. The swallows will bring me home when it's time to rebuild <coughs> places. Everything, you can never go back. There are dragons out there. We walk through the open door, out on the edge. This is where the body was found, where the journey begins. I am sailor, thief, queen, I am home. I am only girl in the spaces between powerful magic, where swallows bring in their mouths to nest with. Their hearts beat too fast to keep them on earth. Does it hurt? Her heart beats a tattoo into my ribs. Blood, of course it hurts. And every year, wanted, the swallows return home. Hold fast. On this journey, I never let go. too many of those. I already have way too many of those. So I sat down to write about how desire and hate killed Matthew Shepard. And when I write desire, I think of you. I like you. My pen sprouts snugly kittens and spring flowers that I hate myself for it. <laughs> I like you so much, I had to have therapy for it. <laughs> and I like you so much, I fucked other people to get rid of it. <laughs> And the weekend you went to Disneyland, I tried to grow mouse ears. I tried to be your e-ticket. I wanted to grow up to be your service hotel, except I won't throw you out for using bad words like they do. So if you're there, you know, don't do it, because they actually will do it. So if you said something, for example, like, oh, shit, oh, fuck, oh, God, oh, take me, I just take you back to bed, because I like you so much. This isn't in my agenda. This should be a poem about genocide, and I like you so much. This should be a poem about ending capitalism, smashing the state, stating the obvious, getting smashed to tell you, I'll fuck capitalism and patriarchy and totalitarianism to get next to you. I will deep throat my politics. I will get more therapy that I won't need if you're near me. Because therapy and politics are all about making the world a little more perfect. When I close the door and it's you and me, the world is a little more perfect. Whenever you smile at me in a world that doesn't offer many smiles, the world is a little more perfect. This world 